Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews, World Famous Coffee. Today, you know, I search far and wide for interesting coffees. Now, I of course do um, everyday brands from the grocery store, because that's what most of us drink. But on occasion, you want to try something unique or you're looking for gift ideas, that's where you look at my coffee thing. And all my wines and my everything I review, there's always an application for somebody. You know, I do things that, that are good for like golfers, like wines, uh, by golfers, for golfers. Maybe they have golf in the name. Maybe there's a famous golfer that, that owns the winery or the coffee or whatever. And everything you can think about, I try and record veterans, everything. I, I try and go across the board. So, today, you're going to like this. And I've done several from this. This is Thrasher Coffee Company. They're from Dallas, Georgia. All right? Um, and Thrasher is the national bird or the state bird of Georgia. So here it is. This is their coffee. The basket of deplorables. What does that mean? This is a conservative coffee company. And they have taken uh, a lot of... Um, they really support Trump, and they do a lot of coffees that have to do with him. So if you know somebody who loves Trump, these are going to be great gifts. Or if you're going to their house, you can bring it for dinner, or if you're hosting. Or if you know somebody who hates Trump, and you want to just screw with them, this is a good gift. So there's some applications to this coffee. Uh, this is like every other coffee company. Uh, not every other coffee company, but a lot of the specialty coffee companies. When you order it, we'll grind it, or excuse me. They will uh, roast it for you, and in this case, yeah, they ground it, and they will immediately mail it to your house. And and the difference, the, the uh, richness and the aroma, compared to a store-bought, which could have been sitting there for who knows how long, is really fantastic. So, let's look at this. This is, oh, they've done things like border blend, and they have, you know, for the border wall, and um, different ones. I bought a four-pack of, you know, there's four different kinds, so they're sprinkled throughout my... Uh, Reviews. So, the basket blend, roasted by Thrasher Coffee Company, deplorable, and it says now a hardworking, tax paying, patriotic American. Um, what was intended as a condescending insult has become a badge of honor. If you know, during the uh, leading up to the election, Hillary Clinton called Trump supporters a basket of deplorables, and, and one of the reasons she lost, actually because uh, it showed so much arrogance and hatred toward half the American people that she was going to have to um, represent. Uh, so anyway, this coffee here is a blend of dark roast Ethiopian and medium roast Colombian beans. Sounds interesting. And we will be uh, pouring it in this uh, beautiful handmade Look at the workmanship on that. Made from clay. Glazed. I don't know. I like it. Anyway. Let's give it a smell. And once again, when I went to get this out of the mailbox, I could smell it three feet from the mailbox. I smelt the coffee. I knew there was coffee in there. It was unbelievable. Such a rich, rich, chocolate, nutty, strong coffee smell to it. A little bit of tobacco smell. Like a fine tobacco with chocolate and a nutty aspect to it. it really smells good. Now, when you get coffee like this, uh, you're going to use a lot less than you do the store bought because it's a lot stronger. Now, when I do my French press, I use half as much because this, just being fresh like it is, um, it's just a lot stronger. So, and when I do find coffees like this, I always use my French press. So let's press it down. This has a beautiful dark. Mm, well, let's see the head on it. Look at that. You enjoying a cup with me? I hope so. Oh, I got to show you something else too. So I, I went to the store, and my daughter likes to bake. She's young, and uh, I found these. Uh, little boxes and it looks like um, crushed up Oreo cookies and you mix it with half half a package of cream cheese 
and then you can, uh, it comes with a packet of chocolate that you can melt on it. Anyway, this is little balls she made. And they're so good, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that in my coffee today. Alright, All right, so let's plunge this down. And, uh, gonna have some fresh, delicious French roast, fresh roasted coffee. Mmm. Alright. Kind of a sweetness smell to it. Just has like a hard to describe, like the, if there was sugar dissolved. Then it isn't, of course. I just made it like it is. There's some kind of sweetness, I guess, from the sugars and the beans and the plant. And you get that chocolatey, almost a caramel to it. With a little earthiness, tobacco-y type, and 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 of course the, the strong smell of, of a good brewed coffee, very pleasant smell. Let's give her a taste. Another thing before I do, I know I'm a nerd about this, but another thing I love about this cup here, <laughs> you know, it's the ceramic. It really holds the heat from. It. All right. Mm, that's got a real chocolatey taste to it. It's weird, no? Mm. I think it's interesting that Ethiopia the dark roast, they roasted dark beans from Ethiopia. And then they medium roasted beans from Colombia. So you got Africa and South America mixed in. And it's a very rich, chocolatey, almost a sweet caramel. Really the undertones of the coffee. Very good. Now I already know that it's going to hold up to this cream because it's nice and strong. That's what I worry about. When you get the weaker ones, the cream washes it out and it tastes more like cream. I love cream, but I don't want to just, you know, drink straight cream. I don't want to drink like dish water with cream in it. So this is going to really, I guarantee, it's going to enhance this. You know, I got a little aftertaste on here, but it's good. It's a little bitter, but it's also kind of nutty. I like it. I'm liking it. All right. So I poured my cream in here, a little dash, stir it. Instant, instant vanilla smell to it. Oh, it's so good. I've never used whole cream. It adds a thickness, almost a milkshake quality to your coffee. It gives that vanilla and that sweetness, okay? And I keep saying this, I know there's no sugar in here, but there is lactose from the milk. And you can pick it out, especially if you don't generally have a lot of sugar. And so it tastes sweet, but there's no real sugar in it. I mean, uh, total carbs less than a gram, and then it says 0% next to that. So it's probably half gram or less in a serving. Um, it's just good fat. And you know, fat um, really brings out the flavor in things. So um, this uh, certainly could be drunk by itself. I mean, if you like sugar, whatever you like. You know, I, I, I either use a black or heavy cream. I use heavy cream always. If I don't have heavy cream, I drink it black. I don't tend to like anything else in it. But I have had it with uh, sugar and artificial sweeteners and honey and stuff like that. You know, coffees, and it's good. But, uh, you know, I've developed to where I just like the heavy cream or black. So, from Hillbilly Select Reviews, Thrasher. That's their little, got the bird with the cup. Uh, basket of deplorables, got the American flag. It's got a little, something on the back, you can read it at your leisure. All right. So, from Real Police Talk, everybody, if you want to Google this company, you know, www.thrasher.coffee.com, or you just put Thrasher Coffee in your search engine, and uh, she'll pop up. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you.